Okay, it's time for another pronunciation practice today. Now, before we start, I do have to say one thing. Um, next door to me, there are some kids, and these kids are very, very noisy. So they're out there screaming, and they're doing something bad to their cat, and the cat's, like, making loud noises. So if you hear screaming in the middle of today's lesson, just ignore it, right? We're going to focus on pronunciation and pronunciation only. So just forget about those stupid kids, okay? All right. To start today's pronunciation practice, we have actually some questions from the people in our English community. So let's go ahead and take those. Um, the first question is from Nanasan, who was asking about the difference between the word bag and back. Now, the GU kind of ending is very, very difficult for Japanese speakers in English because, you know, when we say bag, there's no gu sound. So in Japanese, you say bagu, gu. But in English, we just say bag, such as, for example, my fancy bag. Check this out. Bag, right? This is actually, this is the bag that you put over your shoulder and it's like a bicycle bag. But anyways, so the difference between the word bag, g, is that there's no goo sound in English. So let's practice the difference between bag and say back, like say naka, somebody's back. So bag, g, g, all right? And back, k. It's more of a sharp sound, like k. So bag, back, back, say naka. Okay. Are you ready to test it? All right. Let's see. Senaka. <laughs> That's Japanese. What am I talking about? Wait a second. Back. That's right. That's Senaka. Correct. How about bag? That's right. That's my bag, which is too heavy to lift again, so I won't do that. So, one more time. Bag. G. And back. Senaka. Back. Okay, if you have any more questions about that one, you know, you can ask me anytime and I can do that one again. But it's definitely tricky, so you just have to kind of practice that sound. And another question we had was from Yoko-san, who was asking about kind of W words. These are really hard for Japanese people, too, because, you know, you don't really have the same W pronunciation sounds that we do. So, for example, you know, the difference between would, like, would you do this for me? and say word, like a word in a book. Now the big difference there is that would you do something for me is like wuh, wuh, like that. And word has kind of like a her sound. So like word, word, you understand? So would, word, would you do this? What was the word? he said. So, and another one that's actually really tricky too is the word for walk, like wa, wa. So, we have walk, wood, wa, walk, wa, and word, word. So, tell me if you can tell the difference between these three. So, walk. Yeah, that's right. It's like aruku, like walking. About would. All right. Would you do this for me? And finally, word. Yeah. See, that's just, you know, like a word in a book. So it takes, like I said, you know, it takes a lot of practice to get those, but just try and remember, like, the W sound in English a lot of the time is different. So you have, like, w, w for wor would, and then word, were, like her, for a word in a book, and then wa, wa, like walk, like aruku. So that's today's pronunciation practice. I didn't hear any kids screaming, so this is a good thing. I hope this is helpful for everybody today, and we will definitely do this again soon. Thanks for listening.